Well, we're uh, sponsoring Formula One in schools because uh, we're looking to inspire the next generation of young engineers. Uh, what we're trying to do is, is um, encourage young students to think about a career in, uh, in engineering or science and technology. Uh, and uh, what we're trying to do is get them to, uh, to think about that at the stage before they've made their uh, choices for GCSEs. It's the biggest STEM competition in the world, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. And we spread across 42 countries. So basically where the world of Formula One shrunk down into the classroom for schools. Three, three things in total. Uh, the first one is for the, the winners of the national finals and what we're offering is uh, two students the opportunity to, uh, to come and study at UCL with uh, uh, the offer of a £5,000 a year bursary towards the, uh, the fees uh, for, uh, for, the, for their time of study. We're also offering the, uh, the, the winners of the, the world finals. Uh, one team member would be able to win a, uh, a, a fully funded, uh, fully fee, fee funded place at UCL. Uh, giving a full scholarship for one of the winning team members is absolutely incredible. Yeah, the other thing that we're offering alongside the bursaries and the, the World Finals um, prize is uh, a mentoring scheme. The UCL Mechanical Engineering Mentors are a group of first and second year students. We will be acting as consultants for the students. We will guide them um, in any kind of decisions or any areas that they need help with. We're looking to the schools that probably haven't entered before or they've, they've struggled in the past uh, and uh, trying to encourage them to uh, sort of take it up and, and do it properly. I want to get uh, young people involved in engineering. I remember doing this one science competition where we had to build a bridge out of rope and paper and then we'd have to design and build a robot. And you know, I ended up going to my teacher and saying, what is this? Like, what job involves this? What? Because I had no idea. It's sort of oily spanners, is what everybody thinks is engineering as. It's just not. It's it's a lot more. It's a lot more broad than that, and it's a lot more interesting. I think that it's my responsibility as now having had that opportunity to be exposed to engineering to then do everything I can to make sure other students are exposed to it. I want to induce inspiration in young kids, especially girls who are not really encouraged to study engineering as I was not encouraged to study engineering as well. We have a rule that it's 50-50. If we have a girls' school going, we need to have a boys' school as well to make sure that we have that, that sense of equality. We don't want to kick out all the boys and only bring the girls and we want that to be an even split. We're all going to be working together and we had a great time and we're really excited to start the mentoring program. A high-flying university like UCL, to get them on board, it is amazing. I mean, the students probably won't realise until they get to uh, the graduation time from school at 18 what, what is in front of them. Yeah, very, uh, very excited about what we're taking on. It's going to be great for the engineering uh, industry.